Hi, today's episode of Ask Tanya is going to cover a little bit about potty training mistakes. So today's question came in, says, my one-year-old pees and poops outside three out of four times, then just forgets and go inside. She did better when she was six months old than she does now. So for me, that first thing is a bit of a red flag where if I have a dog who six months ago was really good at something, like potty training especially, and then now we're having a lapse, the first thing that I want that dog to do is go speak with their veterinarian to make sure that we're addressing any medical issues, whether it's kidney stone, bladder infection, um, possible a cancer. I mean, we sometimes really need to dig in there. Once we get the all clear for a medical concern, we still may even have behavioral issues issues after that. So we may have a medical concern that gets addressed and then we then have a behavior issue because of what they learned that they learned it feels better to go to the bathroom inside. So to address that behavior issue, what I think about is I think about puppies. And so puppies tend to need to go to the bathroom all the time, right? So after waking up from a nap, after a lot of play, um, just kind of walking around being restless, all those times mean I'm going to take that puppy outside. So when I'm potty training a puppy, or in this case a dog who's been having accidents, I'm going to treat that dog like he is a little puppy, which for me means that dog is not going to have unattended access. So he's not going to get the opportunity to make a mistake. So that dog is going to be with me all his waking hours or either crated or confined when I can't watch them. So if I'm, say, in the dining room or walking around the living room, my puppy or my dog is going to be with me so that he doesn't sneak around and go to the bathroom when I don't see. So I really want to be diligent on watching that dog so that every opportunity I can, I can take that dog outside to go to the bathroom. So there's going to be zero mistakes. My dog's not going to get the opportunity to make a mistake. I'm also going to increase the time that he goes to the bathroom. So if I take that note there and she said three out of four times she goes to the bathroom outside, that tells me that they go to the bathroom about four times a day. So I would be, assuming I'm home, I'm going to be trying to double that time. So instead of taking my dog outside four times, I'm going to try to take my dog outside eight times. So they're going to get plenty of opportunity to go to the bathroom. I'm also going to make sure that I'm with that dog when they're outside so that I can see if we've gone to the bathroom. So if I take my dog outside eight times a day, more than likely, I'm going to at least get a pee. Dogs tend to pee every time they're outside and they're doing some sniffing and smelling. So then I'm going to go ahead and reinforce that dog for peeing or pooping, whatever it is does outside, with a nice tidbit. So I'm going to have some nice dehydrated treats in my pocket. So as soon as that dog goes to the bathroom, I'm going to tell him yes and how smart he is, and then go ahead and give him a treat and tell him again how smart he is. Then I need to think, what does my dog want after this treat? Does he want to go back inside the house or does he want to hang out outside and play some more? Because I want to double up on that reinforcement, meaning I want to give him a treat, but then I want a reinforcement of what he wants next. So if my dog likes to play outside, after he's gone to the bathroom, if I give him a treat and then rush him inside the house, I've actually punished him. So maybe I gave him that treat for pottying, but he also learned once I potty, mom takes me inside the house. That's not fun. So instead of pottying, I'm going to hold it. So instead of going to the bathroom, I'm going to wait and, and you know, because I want to sniff around and smell the yard and hang out where I've learned if I go potty quickly, mom takes me back inside the house. So I want to reinforce that dog again with that second reinforcement of what does he want after that potty. To be able to get your dog to potty quickly, then the best time to do that is usually in the morning because in the morning they tend to have a full bladder and they're ready to go. So again, I can go out with my dog. If I have a fenced in yard and I'm working with potty training issues and I really want my dog to go to potty on cue, not potty in the house, I'm actually going to leash my dog up when I take them outside. So I'm going to slap that little hook, uh, leash on his, on his harness, go outside, I'm going to give him about 10 foot max of a place to walk around with me on his leash to do his business. I'm just going to make it low key, not very exciting, 
once he's gone to the bathroom, again, I'm going to give him that reinforcement. And then if I have the fenced-in yard, then I'm going to unattach the leash and let him go play. So again, there's that double up. You go potty first, get a treat, then I'm going to unhook you from your leash and you get to go play. So with time, he's going to learn, I better hurry up and go to the bathroom because I want off my leash, If again, a fenced-in yard, so I can run around and go play. That will help your dog go to the bathroom quickly, which will be very beneficial, especially when you're traveling or when it's really cold and there are those times you want to get into the house really quickly. So again, for this person that messaged in, if there's that change in uh, potty issues from six months ago where we were good to now, the first thing is, is the vet. Once that vet issue is addressed, if there is anything, then the next thing to do is think about puppy training and going back to basics, lots of supervising, lots of reinforcement, and then letting your dog play after they go to the bathroom. The other quick little tidbit I'd like to offer is don't punish your dog for going to the bathroom inside the house. So. Even people ask me, if I catch my dog, can I punish him then? So if my dog starts to tinkle inside the house or poop inside the house, you know, whatever it may be, and I'm there to see it, I might go, oh, you know, kind of like scoop him up really quickly and, and not make up too big of a deal and go outside. And then once we're outside, if we finish, I'm going to go ahead and reinforce him and tell him how smart he was to begin with. The reason I don't like to use any kind of punishment, especially with potty training, is because they don't always learn what it is that we think we're teaching them. So if my dog potties in the house and I go, no, even a harsh no sometimes for some dogs can be like, oh my God, that was so scary. But I'm like, no, don't do that. Again, that dog may learn, I better not go to the bathroom in front of mom. So when I'm outside trying to get my dog to go to the bathroom on a leash, she might be looking at me like, Oh my gosh, you're right there. You acted like a nut when we were inside the house and I went to the bathroom. So I don't tend to use any kind of harsh punishment like that. Again, just a quick, you know, kind of rush them outside um, and not make a big deal, deal out of it and then reinforce for doing the right behavior. So hopefully you found these tips helpful. Um, if you need any additional help, I do offer both in person if you're in the Toledo area or phone consultations if you need anything um, a little more addressed. And in the comments, I'm going to give you a link up to some some more potty training tips and also the survey so you can ask your own questions and I will see you next time.